Hi, my name is Julie, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet three different block patterns that you can make for the Autry Museum's Community Yarnscape celebrating Griffith Park. You're welcome also to make other pattern blocks for the project. They can be crocheted in any color or medium yarn weight, but they should be made in acrylic yarn and measure approximately nine by four and a half inches. The first pattern I'm going to demonstrate represents the sky. So we're using blue yarn, which is DK weight or number three. And we're making a V stitch, which is a type of lace pattern. We start the pattern with a slip knot. To make a slip knot, I'm going to cross the end of the yarn over the yarn ball side to make a loop. And then you'll draw the yarn from the yarn ball side and pull it through holding on to the tail. There's your slip knot. Now using our hook, and I'm using an H hook here, I'm going to insert the hook into the loop and make a chain. To make a chain, you'll yarn over with yarn from the yarn ball side and draw the yarn through the loop. We'll do another one. So yarn over, yarn from the yarn ball side, turn your hook down facing the bottom of the loop and draw it through. And we'll do that 35 times in total, and we've already made two. Once you have your 35 chain stitches, then you're going to work um, row one. And to do that, we'll be uh, counting the chain stitches in. So this is the first one from the hook, second one, third one, fourth, and fifth. And in this fifth chain stitch from the hook, we're going to make a uh, double crochet stitch. So to make a double crochet stitch, we're actually going to flip it around and see there are little bumps on the back side in the middle. So we'll yarn over first, insert the hook into or under one of those bumps, which is the fifth one from the hook. You'll yarn over again and draw that back through the chain stitch. Have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Now you're going to work another double crochet stitch in the same place. So you yarn over, insert the hook into that back loop from the chain stitch, from the fifth chain stitch, and you're going to yarn over and draw up that loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two yarn over and draw through two. So now we're going to skip a chain. So we go back down to the chain and we see there's this next bump. We're skipping that one and we're gonna work in this next bump, which is called a back ridge. And in this back ridge, we're going to make two more double crochet stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook under the back ridge and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. And one more in the same place, so yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. I'm going to skip a stitch and then two more double crochet stitches in the next uh, back ridge here. So we'll continue on in this manner all the way down uh, the extent of these chain stitches until we get to the end.
So now you see that I have worked two double crochet stitches in every other chain, but I still have two chains left. And what I'm going to do is skip the second to last chain and then work just one double crochet stitch in the final chain. Now I'm going to chain three to move on to row two and flip my work. The chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. Now I'm going to work two double crochet stitches in the middle of each of the two double crochet uh, stitches in the, in the row before. So you can see in the row before I made this chain and then I have two double crochet stitches there. So I'm going to work right in the middle. You can see here, I'm gonna put my hook to point where that goes. I'm gonna work right there in the middle between the two stitches. Um, so yarn over, insert the hook right there in the middle and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, and let's do it again in the same place. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So there we go, we have our first V-stitch now because we can see um, once we put the two stitches in the row below that this expands a little bit and looks more like the letter V. So now we're gonna do our two double crochet stitches in the next V, which we're skipping this part and moving here in the between the pair there. One and two. And we'll just do the same thing all the way down the row. Two double crochet stitches between each pair of double crochet stitches from the last row. So now we've almost finished the row. We just have these uh, four chains that we, we started with, that we skipped at the very beginning after we made the long chain. And what we're going to do is skip um, one chain and then work a double crochet stitch in um, the next chain. So yarn over and then insert the hook into this second chain stitch from the last row. And we're going to just make a one double crochet stitch here. Okay, so we finished row two. And we're actually going to continue uh, repeating row two for the rest of the pattern. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how you do this. One, two, three, chain three again, flip your work, and then, um, and that counts as your first double crochet stitch, then see your pairs, you're going to make two double crochet stitches right in between those two double crochet stitches. And work your way all the way down the row again. So you get to the end and you'll be working, um, including this row we're working on now, nine more times. So in total, you'll have uh, 11 altogether, 11 rows of these V stitches.
And as you remember, at the end of each row, you'll need to make a, a double crochet in the top chain. So you yarn over, insert right into the top chain from what would count as, the, you know, the, the top of the chain three, which would count as a double crochet stitch in the row prior to this one. And you're going to drop a loop, have your three loops, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So that last stitch is just one. You don't double up on that one. And um, when you get to your last row, like I am at that point now in this block, you're going to cut the yarn, leave a nice long tail, about uh, four to six inches or so. And then you draw the yarn, the cut end, all the way through the loop and tug a little bit. And that's how you fasten off. And there you have your finished V-stitch lace pattern block. So this block pattern represents the earth. So we're using either a brown or tan colored yarn, which is um, some kind of medium weight. Here I use uh, worsted weight yarn, um, and then I'm going to demonstrate in DK weight. Um, and this pattern is a type of ribbing. As you can see, these lines that run vertically on this. So this is to represent the ground or the earth, um, or possibly tree trunks. So for this pattern, we're going to start with the slip knot. And then chain 42. In row one, we're going to work double crochets all the way across the chain. Uh, to start, going to skip the first three chains. Here we're looking on the back of the chain at the back ridge. So you'll see the little bumps in the middle. There's one, two, three. We're skipping those first three and working our first double crochet in the fourth back ridge from the hook. We'll continue working in the back ridge loop all the way down. So once we've worked our first row of double crochet stitches, we'll move on to the second row. And to do that, we'll start with two chains. And two chains, in this case, counts as a half double crochet stitch. And we'll flip our work. Now we'll be working a front post double crochet stitch. So to do that, we're going to make a double crochet, but we place it in a different way. So we're, we're actually going to work it around this vertical post of the double crochet from the row before. So we'll take, we'll do our yarn over and insert the hook before the post and come up on the other side uh, after the post yarn over again and draw that back through under that post. We'll have three loops on our hook, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops. 
So that's our first front post double crochet stitch. We're going to work another one in uh, the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook before the post, coming back up after the post, yarn over and draw that yarn right back through so that you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Great. So we have our two front post double crochet stitches. The next stitch will be a back post double crochet stitch. Um, and it's similar with just one major difference, which is yarn over and then you insert the hook from behind the fabric, moving over the top of the post and then drawing the yarn from behind the fabric back through and you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So it's front post, front post, back post. We'll move back, we'll be doing two more front posts. That's front post. And then another front post in the next stitch. And then a back post in the next stitch. So then you'll see you're, you're alternating between two front posts. And one back post. All the way down the row until you've finished all of the stitches except for the very last one. So when you have just one stitch left, which is actually this original chain two that counts as a half double crochet stitch, we're going to insert a half double crochet stitch in the top chain. So yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all three. Now we're going to move up to row three. To do that, we'll chain two, which counts as a half double crochet stitch, and flip our work. In this row, we're actually going to do the opposite of what we did in the last row. So to do that, we're going to yarn over, insert the hook um, from back to front and, and around the first post. So this is a back post double crochet stitch. Draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So that's one uh, back loop, double crochet, uh, foundate, I'm sorry, back post, double crochet stitch. And we'll do the same in the next stitch. A second back post, double crochet stitch. Now we're going to work a front post. You can see this is already prominent. That's because it's a front post. So we're going to insert the hook from front to back and around the post and make a front post double crochet stitch. So we'll continue on uh, working two back posts, one front post, all the way down uh, this row. When we get to the end of this row, um, we have one stitch left, which is again that chain two. So we're going to work a half double crochet in the top chain of that chain two. So yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, three loops. Yarn over, draw through all three loops. So now we're gonna go back to uh, the way we worked row two. So start with the chain two and flip, and then we'll do our front post double crochet stitch. So go around that first front post, 
doing the second front post and one back post on this row. Two front posts. And one back post. You can see that by alternating, when we flip the fabric over, we, we first did the front post on uh, row two, then we did the back post on row three, and now we're doing the front post again on row four, and it's actually what's creating this longer post, this longer um, relief or ribbing in the pattern of the yarn of the fabric here. So we'll continue on and then starting and ending with either a chain two or half double crochet stitch, which count as the same thing and alternating between um, the two front post double crochet stitches, one back post double crochet stitch on the even rows and two back post double crochet stitches, one front post double crochet stitch on the odd rows. So you'll work around 13 rows in this way, um, however many it takes to uh, make the block around four and a half inches tall. It's going to be about nine inches wide. And once you get to your last row, you need to fasten off. So we'll cut the yarn about four to six inches. And draw it through the active loop there, pulling tightly. So here's the finished piece. And there you have your ribbing block pattern. So the next block pattern represents greenery like plants and grass and so on. So we're using a green yarn, which is a DK weight. And we're going to be making a bobble block pattern. Um, and to start that, we will be making a chain of 41 stitches. So, so we'll start with that slip knot and make a loop and then draw the yarn through the loop using our hook and draw the yarn through the loop making 41 chain stitches. After you've made the 41 chain stitches, going to work the other way for row one um, making a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And I like to use the back ridge of the chain stitches. So we'll count down on these bumps in the middle of the stitch. That's one, two, three, four. So we'll work in that bump, the fourth bump there. Yarn over, insert the hook right under that strand of yarn. Drop a loop, give three loops, and complete your double crochet stitch. Um, once you've done that, we're going to uh, work a double crochet stitch in each of the chains all the way across. So double crochets all the way.
Okay, so we finished row one. Now we're moving on to row two. We'll start by making one chain and then flipping our work. Now um, we'll need to work a single crochet on top of this last double crochet that we worked in the last row. So to do that, we'll insert the hook and yarn over, drop a loop. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through both loops. That's a single crochet. We'll do that again in the next two stitches. So insert the hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through both loops. And the next one, okay. So we have three single crochet stitches that we've made so far. The next stitch is different. It is going to be our first bobble. So that involves making a five cluster of uh, double crochets. Yarn over first, and then insert the hook into the next stitch, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops. And then you pause. You're gonna yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, Yarn over, draw through two loops again, pause, yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. And so you do that five times where you do sort of a half double crochet. Well, it's not a half double crochet, but it's a double crochet where you stop early. And there's the fifth one. So now you have um, six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all six loops. And then we go back to making single crochets again. And you'll see after you've made the first uh, single crochet that this sort of pops up. So back to single crochets, we're going to make seven in a row, one in each of the next seven stitches. So insert the hook, draw up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through both loops. You see how this pops up? So that's next single crochet. This is three, four, five, six, and seven. Now another bobble, so yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over into the same stitch, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. So keep going until you've done that five times and you should have six loops remaining on your hook once you've done that. And we have six loops there. So yarn over and draw through all six loops. And you'll do, again, seven single crochet stitches, one in each of the next seven stitches. And so on until you get to the last bobble, and then you'll finish off the row with single crochet stitches. So here we are at the end of the row. See, we've made uh, four bobbles so far, and, or actually, this is the fifth one. And then we're going to just make three single crochet stitches, one in each of the last stitches of the row. Two. Although the last um, stitch is really a turning chain, so we'll do that in the top chain. Okay, so now moving on to the next row, it's an easy one. It's just a row of double crochets. And we'll start with a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. So um, you then move on to the next stitch and make a double crochet on top of that one.
So we've made our row of double crochet stitches and we're moving on to another row of bobbles. Um, the spacing on this row is a little different than the bobble row from before because we want to alternate the bobbles with the ones here. Um, but all the techniques are the same. So we'll start with the chain one. And go to the front of the work. Make a single crochet stitch in the first stitch and in the next six. So that would be seven single crochet stitches in a row. We end up nearly in the middle of the spacing between these two bobbles from the one of the rows before, and we'll make a bobble in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, and do that five times all together. Draw through all of the loops and then back to the single crochets and you'll continue making seven single crochet stitches in a row in between every pair of bobbles. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and it's time for another bobble. Six loops, yarn over, draw through. And we'll continue on down this row, row three, um, sorry, it's row four, until we get to the end where we have a turning chain and we'll make a single crochet in the top chain of that turning chain. We'll flip it over and do another row of double crochets, but beginning with the chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And after we've done that, Next row of double crochet stitches, we'll repeat this pattern again, starting with the first set of bobble, uh, the first bobble row, a uh, row of double crochet, the second bobble row, and the double crochet row. Um, and we'll repeat that set of rows twice after the first one. So three times in total. Um, and then at the for the last two rows, um, we're going to just repeat the first bobble row and a row of double crochet stitches. And then we'll fasten off. And that's the end of this block. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you'll make the pattern blocks to participate in the Autry Museum celebration of Griffith Park. See you soon. The Autry Museum of the American West thanks our members and supporters.